go ahead and break down this card, Jakey boy. And I got Juliana Miller in my safety parlay. Do you really? Absolutely not. I'm done with women in the safety parlay. First up, at UFC 286, we have Juliana Miller. Ju Jesus. Juliana Miller. Jesus, I'm going to... Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, this is one of the most popular. I mean, we have back-to-back, -back, basically, pay-per-views. A lot of momentum coming off. I mean, it's just like, and that's how you start the podcast. I'm coming off spring break vacation. First up, we have Juliana Miller facing Veronica now Hardy, which, by the way, and I mentioned in my Quick Pick video, Ass off that Dan Hardy, huh? I mean, I don't know if you've been through her Instagram. You don't do the type of research that I do. We do very different type of research. <laughs> but I was on her Instagram. Holy shit, is she hot. So uh, hats off to Dane Hardy on that. Go ahead and take it over, Angelo. We got Juliana Miller taking on Veronica Macedo Hardy. Juliana Miller, only three and one. Only three and one. That's her entire career, but she did just win the ultimate fighter. Veronica Macedo, or now Veronica Hardy, six and four overall, only one and four in her last five. She is coming back after three years away. Veronica's a technical striker. She's light in her feet. She's fast. She bounces around, charges forward with lefts and rights, and then she circles out. She's creative with her striking. She's fast. While her striking can be fun, she's got no defensive wrestling whatsoever. She can get taken down very easily. Ew. And that's a problem for her, Veronica. Okay. What oh, I, don't, I never really listen, but when you say something so precise and so, like, on par, like... I want to make sure you're talking about the right person here. So. Oh, thank you for fact-checking. Juliana Miller, her odds look like this. She's a minus 450 favorite. She exploded from a minus 200 favorite. The line movement tracker could have helped you if you want to bet on that. Could have helped you get on that at like the minus 220 mark as it was moving instead of waiting until minus 450. The reason those odds look like that is because Juliana Miller, while inexperienced, while she only has four professional fights, she's ferocious. It's a nice little description. She's ferocious, and she can grab. It. She will come forward. She will grind, work it to the ground. Mm. She's got impressive scramble skills. She can snatch things up in transitions. Mm. She's coming off that win over Brogan Walker, where she won with grappling. It is clear. Wasn't Julia she the? Miller, um, yeah, wasn't she the underdog in that too? Did everyone think that that Brogan was going to out wrestle her? Wasn't that the game plan? I Brogan can't was one of the more experienced women in the house, and that was what was supposed to happen. Yeah. And Juliana Miller came out. But my notes for that fight, so every time I watch a fight, I, like right now I'm looking at a spreadsheet. I have each fighter, Nerd. their last five. <laughs> Nerd, the, alert. <laughs> the, Nerd alert. Nerd alert. The breakdown. Take notes. <laughs> the breakdown for each fighter. And then uh, I add a column. And if I watch the fight, I put the notes in there. My notes for that were Juliana Miller is not very good. She's not polished. She's a little wild. She is tenacious. Wow, she will go out there. Oh she God. will fight for your money, but she's not very good. And there is not a world where I'm spending minus 450 on a not very good fighter with only four fights. This is set up for her to win. The UFC said, hey, here's, a, here's somebody you should be able to take down and bully. That's what this is. But J.J. Aldrich was given that same gift last week. And how did that work out? Jakey Boy, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I've said it from for a long, long time. If you guys watch the live streams, what we do is we never bet on heavyweights. I always break that rule. And we never bet on women's MMA because you never know what the hell is going to happen. And I obviously always break that rule as well. But those are two. If you Honestly, if you want to have good success, no heavyweights, no women's, women's MMA, you will do much better because anything can happen with women's, women's MMA, especially because most of them, it goes to a decision. When it goes to a decision, literally anything can happen. For this fight, I really don't see a decision, honestly. I, I think that Veronica is either going to show up and, and, and look fantastic for whatever reason after three years off. You don't really know how she's going to look. She could be have been training secretly or whatever for the last three years because her Instagram, not a lot of training videos, a lot of great videos, a lot of great pictures. I will say that, but not a lot of training stuff on her Instagram. But she could have been doing it in the background, not promoting it, come out, look great. There's just so many question marks to this fight. But, you know, I think Julianne Miller should win this fight. She's shown how tough she can be. Angela mentioned the grappling. Veronica, in her last matchup, she is a wild girl. I mean, she will throw volume, not super technical, but 
but she is a wild girl. And even on the ground, she will do wild stuff. I saw her like Eminari rolling. She's very flexible, it seems. Dane Hardy, great job with that. Um, so anything can happen when they get on the ground, especially with somebody in, as inexperienced as Julianne Miller. So, you know, I, I'm staying away from it. I think that under two and a half is pretty good value at even money because um, Julianne Miller should, I mean, hypothetically come in and just kind of steamroll Veronica. But it's, uh, it's hard to trust women. I will tell you that. I, I, you know, I've learned that in my 26 years of living. It is hard to trust women. 26? You look fantastic. Thank you. Actually, you look pretty horrific. You have a giant scar. Mm. Definitely not looking 26. That's just from the when she grabbed me like this. <sighs> Split me wide open. Who's she? All of them. All of them. <laughs> well, I think Can't I get enough. Face. Can't get enough. Okay. Well, congrats. Um, it is interesting because Veronica, I mentioned, gets taken down very easily. She's actually pretty slick on the ground. She's not useless on the ground, but she does get taken down very easily. So it's like a weird, you know, what probably happens is Julian Miller gets the takedown and avoids being submitted. But Veron- it's not like you take Veronica down and you're out of the woods. She is primarily a striker but has jujitsu, Zero takedown defense whatsoever. In all reality, Juliana Miller probably scores pretty well in DraftKings because of the takedowns, because of the control time. I'm just not, I'm not touching it. J.J. Aldrich... Ruined all of this for me. I am not a spiteful person. I have daughters, and I always hated the notion of don't bet women's MMA, women's MMA. I always hated that. And now I'm like, J.J. Aldridge should have been fired just as quick as Turns they Turns out William I was, uh, like most things, <laughs> I was right all along. They should have get rid of her the same way they got rid of William Knight. Like, that was the worst performance oh, I've ever seen. Oh, he's got a fight booked. Ariva there. I know. They, I showed you the text when they texted me looking for an opponent for him. Well, he's got an opponent now. He's... I know. Ago. It was a is a group. I uh, like a twelve CES, and ten fighter or something. I know the uh, CES matchmaker very well, and he texts me when he needs some fights. He texted me saying, "Hey, do you have anybody for William Knight?" I shared that information with you. If he uh, if he ever asked for a one eighty five er, you you ring my phone. You weigh one hundred and sixty eight pounds. Wet. Uh, I I stand on the scale right now. It's one eighty three on the dot. Go get the scale. Get the no, scale. It's stand on it. It's carpet. Take, Oh, okay. I mean, get I can the try. Scale. I, mean, I will. Right. Get the scale. Take a picture. Right, how long is this going to take? Take a picture and then come back. While he's doing that, I'm just going to start breaking down the next fight. 